Hi, my beautiful Libra. Welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha, Goddess of Life 1111. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning subscribers, welcome back. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for my lovely Libra. This is a general reading. It will not be resonate with everyone. If, it's, if the reading resonate with you, please give it a thumbs up. If it's not, please leave it alone. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you that have been subscribed, like, share, and comments that are supporting my channel. My readings are timeless. You see it when you meant to see it. All right, let's begin the reading. Universal energy, my sister, my spirit guide, the pure white light, like Andrew Michael, ascended masters, please give my beautiful Libran a clear, precise, honest message. Thank you. All right, Libra, let's roll. Let's see what the universe has for you. At the bottom, we have Third Chakra. Aquarius has that energy. Balance. Someone need to make a decision. As soon as I grab this card, someone has a lot in their mind. They have a lot in their mind. Wow. Simply love. Yep. Yeah. Someone has a lot in their mind. And it's someone from their past. They are juggling what was, what if, maybe. And guess what? Choose your battles. Someone stand in the ground. They are protected. Seven of one is about protection. Sign and synchronicity. You can see like everybody like you want a piece of me. This is someone that actually like listen. Like I told you guys. This like Goliath right here. Y'all can't come in. I don't care what you do. You're not coming. And someone is reminiscing about that, that past person. Share the love. Someone here is heartbroken. You are them. This is the three of cups. Someone is sharing the love. Someone need to speak up. And someone also looking for the truth. Mm -hmm. Yep. Someone is looking for the truth. Someone is watching them online, try to um, bring them information. Someone is watching. Oh, I leave her. Choose a sign, whichever you want. What would you like to tell your person, Libra, and what would they like to tell you? One card for each. What would you like to tell that person? I will put you here. I will put whomever you are dealing with over here. Don't worry. I feel like you're both dealing with some um, some heartache. This is what would. This is what you want to tell them. Don't make decision based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it's, it's for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Okay, Libra. This is what you want to tell your person. I'm going to put it over there. Because someone is hard working here. They're hurting. And they don't want. They don't want nobody to come near them right now. They are protected spiritually too. This is what they want to tell you. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah. You both aren't talking. You're both aren't talking, and you're not getting along either. <laughs> Your soulmate is only with you and spirit. Believe this. Is, believe this, and they will manifest physically. All right, you guys love each other. That look like a small drama. You guys can fix this. Thank you, universe, universal energy, my sister, my spirit guide, the pure white light, Archangel Michael, the ascended masters. Please give my beautiful Libra a clear, precise message. Beautiful message for Libra. Yeah. 
the Ten of Wands. Mm. You're feeling burden is too much. The action, the passion. You feel all of that. Yeah, you miss the passion. But you feel like it was a burden because we have the two of ones. That's a, someone need they have a lot in their mind. When it's come to and someone chose to move forward passionately. Because they feel like they carry a burden. They're thinking, overthinking, they cannot sleep. They're just like, you know, it's all in their mind because they miss the passion. And the other person move away. Yeah. They are hard. They are healings. Someone take action to heal. That's great. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Libra say, I'm out. Beautiful. I'm getting out of regret. I'm getting out of the sadness. Yeah, I love you. But I'm dropping the burden. I'm going to take action to move forward confidently, victoriously. No more feeling sorry for myself. No more sorrow. Wow. Taking action. Oh, well, Libra, I'm with you. Let's see what the, your person is going through. Yeah, you're feeling confident in yourself. you like, I don't want to deal with. Yeah, someone is not getting their wish at the moment. They are unhappy. Could be drinking a lot. Someone is becoming alcoholic all of a the sudden. They are drinking. Oh, the sun. Someone is happy. The lovers. We're going to clarify to see why the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Because having the sun, if someone is... They stop drinking. Someone need to make a decision. The Queen of Cups. Yeah, someone here still love you, Libra. Yep, they still love you and they are waiting on you. Uh-huh. The two, <laughs> this is the second card that says soulmate. See, this is soulmate. And this is also soulmate. Someone is moving on to a soulmate they want to go build and grow with. Oh, yeah. Someone taking action in that. Libra. They are taking action. Because you guys aren't talking. And it's whomever that the soulmate, this person feel like a soulmate. It could be a high priestess they want to build and grow with. Yeah. Someone is taking action toward the love of their lives. They're working into the love of their lives. Someone who could be stopped drinking. Let's see. Because this is finding, ba finding balance. You know, clarity in the situation. The chariot. We have the chariot already here. Can we clarify the Ten of Cups in a reverse spirit? Can we please? Can you please clarify the Ten of Cups? Universe, please clarify the Ten of Cups in a reverse for my beautiful Libra. Oh, there's not a coming together. There's a delay. It's just a delay. Someone is delaying. Someone is delaying this happiness. So they can play around. Could be with the Gemini. But someone here. Someone here is delaying. They coming together because there's someone nice in the picture they are that makes them very happy could be a child's involved because there's a queen of cups here this could be a child's involved because if it's if you're over here, you get out of the pain, you get out of you healing, you try to heal yourself, dropping the burden, 
Yes, you miss the passion, but you are moving forward confidently. You have an understanding. The best thing for you to do is to not wait around, take action, and move forward, period, period. But whomever this person here, they delay travel, coming together just so they could be with another person because another person make them happy. Like I said, could be a child, but someone here make them happy. So they delay, they, um, they come in together. Why is the two of swords keep spirit? Can you please clarify the two of swords for my beautiful, beautiful Libra? Clarify the two of swords, spirit, please. The king of swords. So you're taking a logical approach. Have a clear understanding. Someone in here, Libra, which is you, taking a lot. That's what I put you over here. Someone decided the happiness meant more to them than be in a relationship that there's a burden. Because we have someone here that take action confidently, feeling victorious, feeling, you know, um, gloriously to move on. But someone in here like, uh -uh, I ain't coming towards you because I'm having fun here. There's a lover. Who's the lover? Let's clarify the lover. And they take a logical approach. A heart over, a uh, head over heart to think this situation through, not to come, not to come together. There's an empress. I told you, a child's mother. I know I was right. A child's mother. There's an empress that could be a Gemini and she with child. That's why someone is not moving forward. That's what they are delay everything. They are delay their own happiness because there's a child involved. And this is an outside relationship because the Ten of Cups is in the reverse. That's an outside relationship. Mm. Why is the Queen of Cups using her intuition, though? <laughs> because whoever you, they are with, it's a cheater. We already understand. We already got that part. It's a cheater, a liar, someone that's very abusive, verbally abusive. Having the king, someone can take on, they have split personality. They take on the queen of cups. It could be the king of cups. Wow. And they like to hide things. They don't open up emotion. They don't open the emotion. They don't have to. They don't want to. Because the moon's here. Why the King of Cups here? I'm almost done with this reading. This is crazy. Yep. I told you guys. Someone is. This is the Four of Wands. Flew in the reverse. When it's come to a stability of this home, there was no. There was no stability because someone is dealing with someone outside the relationship. A child's mother because they want to move forward they're still looking at the horizon to go back home someone still wants to go back home they're waiting for that they're waiting to go back home but they're dealing with this cheater right here mm, mm, mm. yeah someone want to move forward Crazy. Wow. Yep. And the three of ones. We have, I mean, I don't need to sit in there and try to get. Yep. And we have the king of ones. Wow. 
the death card and the five of wands wow yep someone is dealing with an outside relationship that has a pregnancy involved that delay them from moving forward but they want to because there's two of ones in here and also the three of ones maybe they are waiting for that person to have the baby or something like that but they're waiting on their child because we have the king of wands here we have the death card here which is that change transformation and we have the five of wands which is a lot of conflicts a lot of fight arguing yada 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 so it could be so that's why someone is waiting for an ending someone is waiting on an ending so they can move forward wow well let's see what the angel have to say for you libra this is mm. Angel, please give my Libran a clear, precise message, please. Thank you. Any message for Libra? Any message for Libra? Do you have any message for my Libra? What will Libra focus on? What Libra should do? Well, well, well. The situation will improve. I told you someone want to come home they want to come to the you know but because they miss the passion and don't stop it's almost it's almost like someone is like I'm done I give up on this but spirit asking you not to no need to worry no need to worry the situation will improve. Someone wants to come back home. Someone wants, you know, that's what they start healing, taking action. They don't want to be sad anymore. Aww. But someone is a cheater. They're a liar. I can't tell you who to, <laughs> who you should let back. I understand, you know, love is love. I understand it. Love is love. If someone hurts you, you know, you still want, you know, because someone is hardworking here. And this is someone from their past. But due to, because there's a child involved, there was a pregnancy involved, someone unable to move forwards to the, you know, to the Ten of Cups, to their soulmate. Damn. That's harsh. That's heartbroken. Well, we already have the heartbroken. I don't need to say it. That's why someone is protected. They try to protect this child here. They try to protect the people from this. Oh, well, my beautiful Libra. That's all I have for you guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I will talk to you guys later. I love you. Bye, Libra.